I love future makers. Welcome to Teacherpreneur. It's the teacher that makes the difference and not the classroom. This is exactly why we teachers get very scared if our classroom volume goes a bit high and we think that all the people outside the classroom might think that we are a bad teacher. You don't have to worry because nobody is judging you based on the noise of your classroom. But overall to manage your classroom, it's really important to quiet a noisy class so that you have all of their attention and then you can make the teaching learning process easier. But it's a tough job to quiet a noisy class, right? Do not worry because teacher Pranayar is here with her strategies about how to quiet a noisy class. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. The first strategy to quiet a noisy classroom is to do some sort of physical exercise through which the attention of the students is towards doing that exercise and not towards making noise. For example, you could do this activity where you join and crisscross two of your fingers and keep on doing this for a few minutes until the class is silent. It's not as easy as it seems. So if you try, it will be a difficult situation for you too. But if you do it with your students, it will be amazing. All the energy and concentration of the students will be towards doing that exercise and hence he will forget what he was talking about or why he was creating a nuisance. The next technique to quiet a noisy classroom is to use the call and response technique. In this technique, the teacher uses some phrase to catch the attention of the students and the student has to reply with an appropriate answer that goes with the rhyme. For example, you could use phrases like All said You bet Or you could use Ready to rock? Ready to roll. Or you could also use Holy moly! Waka moly! This technique is really interesting and you will only start enjoying it when you use it in your classroom. I gave you two or three examples because you have to incorporate this technique and keep on changing the phrases so that it does not become boring for your student. Also, make sure that you incorporate this technique from day one of your class and take it throughout the year. Students will be really impressed by how creative you can get with the phrases and they have to remember what to reply and it will create a FOMO in the class if they have not replied or if they do not know the phrase. So this is something that you must try in your classroom. Whenever you are teaching, if you think that students are creating a lot of noise, do not shout. Rather what you have to do is go completely silent and wait there as if you are waiting for them to finish and then you will continue. This will give them an indirect gesture. You do not have to shout or waste your energy or time. You just have to stand there silently, do nothing at all and stare at the class. Dheere dheere, everybody will come to know that madam is annoyed and so they will keep quiet. Now you have all the attention and you are good to go. Now you can start teaching again. Alternatively, if the students do not understand your soft gestures, what you can do is take a countdown in the class. You could actually write on the board 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. In this manner, the students will also understand that we have total 10 seconds to calm down. As soon as you reach 1 and if this class is not controlled, you could take an action. If you try this, trust me, the class will automatically become silent. The next technique to quiet a noisy classroom is to use the distance. For example, the whole classroom is silent and a bunch of students is creating an issue. Then what you have to do is keep on teaching, keep on talking, but just go near to the bunch of students who are creating nuisance. With this, what will happen is suddenly everybody's attention is on the people who are talking and hence they will immediately keep quiet and look at you as if they are the most obedient students ever. Have you ever done this as a teacher? Let me know in the comment section. Another thing that you could try in your classroom is by using sticky notes. What I suggest is that you write on the sticky note, hey, how can I help you? Or hey, please be silent. And keep these sticky notes in your hand while you're teaching. And whenever you find someone who's creating a lot of noise, just take one of the sticky notes and stick it on his or her desk. As soon as you stick it on his or her desk, he will understand that there's something that teacher wants me to do. So the student stops doing whatever he or she is doing and gives you all the attention or lets you know about a genuine problem if they are facing. The next thing that you could do is to give some time to your students. You could just say, 
class i think there is something that you all need to talk about so i'm waiting here for exactly 1 minute and after 1 minute you all stop doing whatever you are doing and then we begin the teaching learning process again 1 minute is not a big deal you could give that much time to your students let the students understand that you respect that they want to talk and then if they know that they will also respect your request to stay silent do give it a try the last technique that i would suggest to quiet a noisy classroom is to do gossip everybody loves gossip right as a teacher you just have to use this power use their curiosity to know the gossip and you can control the class when you think that everything is getting out of control what you have to do is go towards a bunch of students preferably the first row or students who are obedient to you and very slowly tell them something very interesting it could be a story a joke anything if you speak slowly others will think what is it exactly that teacher is telling that particular student everybody will want to know what is going on and hence everybody will keep quiet so that they can listen to you and since you are at a very low volume they have to keep very quiet to understand and listen to you in this way everything will be managed and then you can speak loudly and you have their attention as well as your problem is solved So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching the whole video. At the end I would only like to tell you that your classroom should be an entrance to the world and not an escape from it. So make your classroom environment as positive as possible and do not use any negative reinforcements. If you like today's video, do hit the like button. Comment and tell us what strategies do you use to quiet your noisy classroom. Share this video with your teacher friends and family and subscribe to Teacherpreneur and press that bell icon to be a part of our Future Makers family. See you soon.